हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट मेथड टू सॉल्व साइमिल्टेनियस लीनियर इक्वेशंस दैट इज द ओनली इटरेटिव मेथड गॉस सीडल इटरेटिव मेथड दैट इज जनरली इंक्लूडेड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड कॉलेज सिलेबसेस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट नाउ to grab the concept we need to look at the example now the example here is three equations have been given 3x plus y plus 5z equals to 13 5x minus 2y plus z equals to 4 and x plus 6y minus 2z equals to minus 1 now why i am considering this method to be tough or difficult it is not at all a lengthy process a lengthy problem the problem is very short and crisp but the method or rather the process to solve problems using this method is uh, rather very uh, difficult to grab and you need to pay attention to it so let's start now first of all i will arrange these equations in a pattern now see what i am doing now what i have done i have done nothing but i have just arranged these equations in a diagonally dominant form now what is that if you look at the pattern carefully you will see that the diagonal elements of rather the diagonal coefficients of the variables are the greatest among the other two variables in each equation in the first equation the coefficient of x is the greatest among the coefficients of y and z in the second equation 6 is greater than 1 and minus 2 similarly in the third equation 5 is greater than y and uh, 1 and 3 so what you have to do is first of all write that equation in the top which has the greatest coefficient of x in the second uh, the second equation will be that equation which has the greatest coefficient of y and the third equation will be that which has greatest coefficient of z so that is known as a diagonally dominant form see the diagonal elements are greater in comparison with the rest two coefficients now what i will do i will again rearrange the equations in such a form where the where only one variable will be at one side and the rest two variables will be on the other side so first of all i will do that for x and the first equation so x is equals to nothing but 4 plus 2y minus z divided by 5 see i have substituted x in the first equation next for y i have taken the second equation so y equals to minus 1 minus x plus 2z by 6 and for z i have taken the last equation that is z is equals to 13 minus 3x minus y by 5 so i have written one variable for each equation at one side and the rest two variables on the other side now what i will do i will assume 
the initial values for x, y and z to be 0. So, initial value is 0, initial value of y is also 0 and initial value of z is also 0. Now, now what I am doing, please pay attention to it. I will construct a table, an iteration table. This is the most important part of this method. Now, the first column will be iteration. That is, it will count the number of iterations. The second column will be x times x power k. Now, what is k? k is nothing but the iterations. The number of iterations is nothing but k. Let us write here k. So, k will determine the number of iterations. This will be y of k and this will be z of k. Now, my initial iteration will be this one. The initial assumption that I have taken that is x, y, z all are zeros. Now, in my second iteration that is the first logical iteration. Logically, it is the first iteration that I am going to do. So, the first iteration will be I will put the values of y and z, the previous values, the minus 1th values of y and z in this expression to get my x in the first iteration. So, my x will be from this expression my x will be 0 0.8. Now, what I will do to get y, I will put the previous z, this one and the current x that I have just calculated. So, I will put x equals to 0 0.8 and z equals to 0. Now, why I am putting x equals to 0 0.8 and z equals to 0? Since I have calcu already calculated x, but I have not yet calculated z. Therefore, I will consider the previous z value and the current x value to get my y value. So, I will get my y as minus 0.3. Now, I have already got my x and y values. So, it will be easier for me to calculate the z value. So, I will put the values of current x and current y in this expression and I will get my z that is nothing but 2.18. Now you will think how I am doing the calculations so quickly. My mind is not a calculator rather. So I have already done these calculations beforehand in order to cut the time short. You can do these calculations using calculators or your mobile phones that is up to your that is completely up to you. I, I am just showing how to solve the problem and you can do your calculations on your own. Now, in the next, the second iteration, in the second iteration to calculate my x, I will consider the previous y and z that is y equals to minus 0.3 and z equals to 2.18. So, after putting y equals to minus 0.3 and z equals to 2.18, I will get my x value from this expression as 0 0.2441. Similarly, I will calculate my y from this x value and this z value and I will get it as 0 0.5192. So, I have already got my x and y values. So, it will be easier for me to calculate the z value that is nothing but 2.3497. Again, I will take my previous y and z values to calculate my x value that is nothing but 0 0.5377. Similarly, I will use my previous z value and current x value to calculate the y value that is nothing but 0 0.5271. So, I have already got my x and y values. So, I will calculate the z value that is 
वन सेवन टू जीरो अगेन आई विल कैलकुलेट माई एक्स वैल्यू फ्रॉम माई प्रीवियस जेड एंड वाई वैल्यूज दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सिक्स थ्री नाउ आई विल कैलकुलेट द वाई वैल्यू फ्रॉम द करेंट एक्स एंड प्रीवियस जेड वैल्यूज विच इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स वन फाइव so i will calculate the z value from the current y and x values that is nothing but 2.1628 now what i will do i will calculate the x value again from the previous z and y values that is nothing but 0.552 the y value from the current x and previous z value will be 0.4 6 two and the z value will be 2.176 from my current x and y values this and this now then i will calculate again the x value from the previous y and z values which is nothing but 0.550 then i will calculate the y value from current x and previous z values that is 0.46 Seven, and lastly, I will calculate the z value, that is two point one seven seven from my current x and current y values. Now, if you see carefully, you will see that up to my second place of decimal, all these terms, the last two values for x, y, and z are similar. Therefore, I will not continue my iterations further, and I will stop here. and thus i will conclude that my values for x my values for x y and z are nothing but 0.55 0.47 and 2.18 respectively so i will write those my x1 will be sorry my x will be nothing but 0.55 my y will be nothing but 0. Four seven and my z will be nothing but two point one eight. Here, as it is one two point one seven six and two point one seven seven, I have rounded it up to two point one eight. So, this was my solution to the problem. I hope you found it quite easy now. So, try it at home, and let me know if you have any problem. I will surely. uh attend to your confusions or difficulties so thank you